Okay, this is um, basically a, a brief introduction to this short video on a the best i can describe it as a cold start on a um on this particular uh electric uh db 110 br 110 db train it's in it's one of the older trains um in uh, train sim world 3 and if you apply too much uh throttle at once i'm gonna go back into the cab view and if um if you apply right now it's at i guess you could call that notch eight if you do that right from the beginning from a, from a dead stop you there is a chance and it's happened to me that the train the locomotive will basically it's like popping the clutch on a car and not being in a proper gear and not having enough RPMs and you stall out the engine. It's basically the same concept except it's electric. And if you apply too much power all at one time, or if you go from zero to say notch eight from a dead stop, you basically up the circuit breaker. Like if you're running, let's say, a coffee pot, a teapot, a toaster oven, in the toaster all at the same time on the same circuit in your house, and the circuit breaker pops. You have to go down to the basement or wherever your circuit breaker is and reset the circuit breaker. That's basically what this is all about. So that's why I'm making this video. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to duplicate this or not, but, well, actually, no, I'm not gonna try and duplicate it. This is basically the start of a short video hopefully it's as short as i can make it um but uh i needed to do this first part of the video because i didn't have this recorded when i initially did the the, the full scenario and i know it's pretty late considering been around for a while only because um computer issues and that's in a whole nother story but this is basically the best exp explanation is a cold start um and it's basically resetting the circuit breaker that's it that's all this is about and how to and what you need to do or what you should do at least try to do um it worked for me and um hopefully it's just helpful to anyone else or watching a video and if it is by all means leave your comments give it a big thumbs up you know share subscribe and um if this happens to you you tried it deliberately or not and it worked for you put it down in the comments um but this is the db 110 or br 110 db or db br 110 i mean it's labeled two different ways and some have told me it's DBBR or it's BR110DB. So, but it is a 110 and, um, okay, on with the rest of the video to show what needs to be done. Hopefully this is, is in a botched up short tutorial. Nobody. It's almost like a waste of electricity and the fuel used to make that electricity. Just running a train to run the train? I mean... Okay. Did I just break the train? It looks like I just broke the train. Okay, let's try something. I've...
Yeah, I don't have that on, so... Hmm. Um, help? Sounds like the motor shut down. Can I call for help? Proceed as signals indicate. Mm hmm sure, okay. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not, but I'm trying it. There we go. Something's running. Nope. Looks like something tried to run. Okay. He's electric, so there's no um there's no gas engine or diesel engine, so handbrake is at zero. Wow, a lot of CIFA uh, buttons. So, okay, let's use the fly cam. Hey, the electricity catching device is up. In other words, a pantograph. Um... LED brightness. Hmm. Put that back to no, no, neutral. I mean, I did do a training sem uh, center scenario, but didn't cover any of this. Is that it? Maybe? And... Looks like it. Okay, what is going on here? Yeah, let's try this one again. This is the last thing I tried, so. At this point, the revelation hit me. It took me a while of flipping switches, pushing buttons that I could, and trying to understand what's going on. Because as you hear me mention through the training center scenario, nothing, is, none of this is mentioned, and um, there is no scenario that I know of that goes over a cold start of this type of train, the DBBR110. But this is what I found. Yes, no, maybe. Kind of, sorta. Basically, uh, put the brakes on, make sure the brakes are on, obviously. Um, put the, the throttle down to zero. I think I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I put the reverser into neutral and basically reset the pantograph and the circuit breaker and the train line power. I just put the, put everything down to zero uh, with the throttle. I guess these old trains need a little bit more um, maintenance. Put the brakes on. I didn't even put the reverser into neutral. Uh, I just reset the, the circuit breaker for the pantograph, the main circuit breaker, and the train line power switch that you see me turning uh, to the left of the throttle wheel. The first time I had it, but again, I did the same thing. I applied too much power and popped the circuit. Wow. Talk about uh, 30 minutes overdue, huh? 
The uh, second time I did it, and I ended up going a little bit too slow for the scenario, but on takeoff, I took it a little bit easier, as you see. But that's the way to get this thing going again. If for whatever reason you hear a big clunk and the train won't go, basically put the throttle down to zero, put the brakes on, you know, full application. You could try leaving the, the reverser in forward, or if you're in neutral, and then reset the, the main circuit breaker for the pantograph and turn the line power off and then back on again and you should hear everything kick back in you'll hear the the electric motors running and if you apply the power gently and uh, with the power wheel the throttle wheel um you should have no problem this is the way I figured out how to get this train going basically a cold start is if you got into it and it was never running to begin with uh, again if this has helped you if this is uh, in any way been beneficial and educational or you know wow should have had a v8 moment by all means leave your comments share subscribe smash the thumbs up button it does help the youtube algorithms and hit the bell so you can know when i post new videos and um i guess that's that um this is basically it uh my my tutorial it's a bit old a bit late again like i said earlier due to technical problems and having been without a computer for a while and um not being able to do much with a uh, eight gigabytes of ram and an i5 core lap uh cpu laptop that's uh Good enough to print a document, but that's about it. So anyway, um, that's what I've been working with for the, for quite a long time. And I'm really backed up on everything. So I'm trying to get things done as quickly as possible. And uh, again, leave your comments and uh, have a great time. Hope to see you again. I hope to have you back and uh, listen to my ramblings. With all that said and done, thank you for being here. Y'all come back now, you hear? And uh, I know this is kind of like rushed and hurried, and I do apologize for that, but I'm, again, I'm trying to get things done as quickly as possible. Y'all come back now, you hear?